Something you might know about us here at the Ralphie and Ryan Show is that we're both family men. So, since we've done it ourselves, we thought it's about time we covered the best suburbs in Chicago for raising a young family. We asked ourselves, what mattered most to us when creating our ideal family life? We each had our unique boxes to tick, but we had in common was good schools, nice parks, a sense of security and safety, and neighborliness. Aside from that, we had our difference about whether we were looking for proximity to the city, a downtown, and how affordable the suburb needed to be. That's why you'll find suburbs on this list that answer all of those. With further ado, let's take a look at our top suburban picks for young families in Chicago. Coming in at number nine, Flossmore. Flossmore might not be every list of best family suburbs, but we think people are missing a trick. Flossmore is a small, diverse suburb southeast of Chicago. It's right next to Homewood, a suburb named so because the area is surrounded by forests. Flossmore is the safer, quieter sister of Homewood, though both suburbs make our list of the best diverse Chicago suburbs, which we'll link the full video we made in the top right corner. The Flossmore Homewood High School is exponentially good and is the main draw for families in this suburb. It's a type of town where neighbors have each other's backs, and many locals say that they couldn't think of a better place to raise a family in Illinois. Coming in at number eight, Wheaton. Wheaton is a beautiful and desirable suburb just west of Chicago. It's full of families and it's not hard to understand why. Wheaton School District is a consecutive five times award winner and children here benefit from some of the best educational opportunities in Illinois. The suburb is also home to Wheaton College and Evangelical Liberal Arts College. As a historically religious suburb, Wheaton is known for its strong family and community values. Many families come here to be part of a collective, where there are endless opportunities to get involved in community events and local improvement. Find out more about why locals love living in Wheaton, Illinois in the top right-hand corner. Coming in at number seven, Glendale Heights. We love Glendale Heights for families, if not least because it's a bit of a hidden gem in the Chicago suburb. As well as being diverse and affordable, it has good schools and it's a mere stone's throw away from one of the best suburbs in Chicago, Glendale. Families here get the best of both worlds, median house prices at just over half of the Chicago average, and meanwhile, their children can still attend A-plus high schools and benefit from Glen Allen's amazing downtown and amenities. There's a lot to love about the life in Glendale Heights, and that's why almost a quarter of the community are young families. Coming in at number six, Elmhurst. Talk to lifelong Chicagoans, and many of them will say Elmhurst is on their list of dream towns to settle down in. Beautiful homes, outstanding schools, outdoor activities, and one of the best downtowns in Chicago suburbs, which you could take a look at our full spotlight video of Elmhurst in the top right-hand corner. Elmhurst lacks nothing. Known as the cultural center of DuPage, Elmhurst is an excellent suburb for young people to cultivate aspirations from an academic future. It's the home of Elmhurst University, and so it's pretty inspiring for families to be surrounded by successful students enjoying some of the best years of their lives. Coming in at number five, Libertyville. Partly because it looked like it was plucked up straight from a postcard. But if you're worried Libertyville's beauty is only skin deep, rest assured that's not the case here. This Lake Country suburb is home to excellent schools, beautiful parks, and a community of happy families. Among the reasons they long live here are the quaint downtown, the neighborhood atmosphere, and the modern library. Coming in at number four, Vernon Hills. This medium-sized suburb is in Lake County, north of Chicago. Vernon Hills ranks highly across the board for amenities, including public schools, safety, housing, and is rated as the 10th best place to live in the entire state of Illinois. Vernon Hills boasts all of the creature comforts needed for a good childhood. The streets are safe and well-maintained, there are plenty of parks, and the suburb has many of the nation's favorite retailers and outlets. Locals from Vernon Hills say they loved growing up in this quiet part of Lake County, where it feels like everyone looks out for each other. Coming in at number three, Lincolnshire. This small suburb in Lake County offers peaceful respite from the city, with the best of suburban living including excellent schools, green spaces, and community amenities. It is home to two highly rated schools, and residents say that they feel very safe here in this tight-knit community. Lincolnshire has lots to do for young families, such as Spring Lake Park, which is breathtaking in the spring, summer, and autumn. Young families can get an early taste of the performing arts at the Marriott Theater, showing families classic like West Side Story, The Sound of Music, and The Wizard of Oz. While Lincolnshire's real estate is on the more expensive side of things, there are a variety of home types and price points, from luxury condos to attractive family homes and the occasional affordable fixer-upper or lots and land. For families who find Lincolnshire too pricey, the close-by Buffalo Grove is an excellent alternative. 
Coming in at number two, LaGrange. The pretty village of LaGrange is a perfect place to raise a young family and also makes our list for the top five affordable suburbs with the best schools, which we made a full spotlight video that you could watch in the top right hand corner. The median house price in LaGrange is boosted by the many large and gorgeous properties, but if you dig into the listings, you can find family homes in line with average Chicago house prices. LaGrange is situated west of Chicago in Cook County and is an inviolable settled down suburb for many reasons. The village offers consistently great schooling across the suburb with all schools rated A plus to B and is well connected to the Windy City and wider Chicago land. Many family friendly suburbs are forced to make a trade between safety, peace and quiet and things to do but not LaGrange. This small suburb is home to a vibrant, cutesy downtown area, mostly made up of boutiques and independent stores. Despite only being two and a half square miles, LaGrange has 82 acres of beautifully maintained parks and preserves, so families here can expect to spend lots of quality time together outdoors. Coming in at number one, Buffalo Grove. Safe, affordable, and well-schooled, Buffalo Grove tops our list of the best suburbs to raise a young family in Chicago. Buffalo Grove is a large, family-focused suburb in Lake County, northwest of Chicago. It has three outstanding high schools and takes the bronze medal for Chicago suburbs with the best public high schools, according to Niche.com. The only drawback to life in Buffalo Grove is the convoluted metro commute to Chicago, but this has encouraged the suburb to develop plenty for its town folk to do locally. With heaps of parks, restaurants, shops, and community events, this suburb strikes the perfect balance for families to escape the city, but never to be bored. Families in Buffalo Grove can spend their weekends between the Buffalo Creek Forest Preserve and the Willow Stream Pool, whereas teenagers will still love the skate park. Buffalo Grove is undoubtedly a suburb where many family memories are made both past and present. I hope you all got some value from this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up for us. We really appreciate the support. If you're looking into buying or selling any real estate in the Chicago suburbs, feel free to give us a call, email, or book a consultation with us using the link in the description. Or visit our website to see all the latest properties available. See you in the next one.